In today's video, I talk about level two chargers. So a level two charger is really what's defined as a 240 volt charger. Now there are different amp sizes for chargers. There's a 20 amp, a 30 amp, a 40 amp, et cetera. And it keeps, it keeps going. The most common whenever you read about what people have in their house is usually a 30 or 40 amp charger. In this case, I have a juice box 40 charger. It's actually has a greater capacity than either my wife's BMW i3 or my Chevy Volt can actually accept. So that means that I have excess capacity that should we buy a, a new EV, which is why we went ahead and, and uh, got a larger capacity then um, you know we can kind of grow into this charger so that's why we purchased this one but the most common two are a, uh, a 30 amp charger and a 40 amp charger so whenever you're getting it installed here i have a um not a hardwired one the reason why we went with a non-hardwired one that we could unplug is one we could always upgrade the charger this one does not have any cool wi-fi settings or uh, any features like that it literally just provides power to the car so if you want to do any special type of setting it to charge in the in the middle of the night when your uh, rates are the cheapest then you're gonna have to set that in your car you're not going to be able to do that with the charger which some of the more higher end ones can do so really so why buy a level two charger so if you're driving more than 30 to 40 miles every day, you're not gonna have enough time to charge your car overnight. So this is from Clipper Creek. They are another, and I'll put a link in them, to them in the description. They're another level two charger uh, manufacturer. So they have this cool chart here, and I'll actually put a link to this in the description down below um, of, of different charging times based upon using a 110 volt outlet or excuse me 120 volt outlet um so if you look at something like my wife's bmw i3 this is the 2014 model then to go from zero to fully charged 16 hours so to get a full 70 mile range if you're driving 70 miles consistently every day um, it would take 16 hours so we're not home for 16 hours every day so it'd be impossible to charge that up every day so, so that bmw i3 the 2016 or 2014 model um, with a uh, a 30 amp so smaller than this but a 30 amp level 2 charger it's going to add approximately 24 miles for every mile or every hour that you're charging so if you come home and you're home an hour you've just added 24 miles of range you're on two hours that's 50 miles of range um, that's a significant amount of running around here you know in in our city so that will let you charge your car up in three hours so much quicker you could come home for a few hours on the weekend and completely charge it back up um, so if you have a something like a a tesla let's say the tesla uh, the standard model tesla with um, a level one charger so plugged into your outlet that would take 36 hours to charge and that, on, that's a 200 mile or 200 plus mile range that you're going to get, but 36 hours. So if you're out doing a long 200 mile trip and you come home and you want to do another 200 mile trip, then you're not going to be able to do that with a level one charger like the type that came with your car. But you could with something like uh, this juice box or the Clipper Creek. So, so really it's about having an electrician come out and installing a 240 volt outlet in, in your garage and then you purchasing a charger. So when you're calling that electrician, you've got to, I mean, it's, it's confusing. Like, what do you ask them? So it's simple. You want um, either a 40 amp out 240 volt outlet or a 50 amp was what I'd recommend. One of those that, that, 40 amp outlet is really probably what I would recommend as the minimum. That'll let you buy a 30 amp charger with a 40 amp outlet. So the reason why you cannot put a 40 amp charger in a 40 amp outlet 
It's for safety reasons. So you have to go step down one less than that. It's a lot of the stuff I've been talking about has been if you have a full electric vehicle. If you have a plug-in hybrid, then possibly that level one charger is a better choice for you. So the level one charger provides, like I said, 30 to 40 miles of range for every, you know, overnight. If you're 10 to 12 hours of charging up. So if you have something, and we'll, we'll look at some plug-in hybrids here. So we'll look at, where is it at here? My Chevy Volt. So a Chevy Volt will take approximately 12 hours to charge up. Then that is a 2014, a 2016 and 2017 Chevy Volt. Again, it will take approximately 12 hours. Um, no, I'm sorry, 13 hours to charge up. So you're looking at one more hour to, to charge it. So in that case, is it really worth um, you know a thousand dollars to have this installed? I don't think that's necessarily the case. Um, really, this is going to benefit you when you have that car that has 50 plus miles or 70 in the case of my wife's i3. Hopefully this video has answered your questions when it comes to level two charging and how to get one installed in your garage. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, so I'm going to be making them now every week, hopefully coming out on Tuesdays, hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you and have a good day.